I'm Peter Kamström of Kamström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration I'm going to show you some more formulas and how you can use them. As you see I have a bunch of data here from Sandholmen's shipping and uh, they do tours of the Swedish Stockholm archipelago and they pick up passengers during the summer months and uh, on each of the ports that they visit they pick up passengers and they record how many pieces the passengers get on and now we're simply going to add some formulas to this we're going to summarize how many people get on the boat in total for each port and for each month and we're also going to do the same th with averages maximum values and minimum values I'm going to start up here do the sum for Kovik during all the summer months and there are several ways of entering this you can simply type it in equals sum of all these numbers and that reads out as equals is calculate the sum of B5 to G5 make sense? and now I can actually do the same thing on all these others too and I can type it in again or I can uh, press the auto sum button here which gives me a suggestion in this case it's correct and if I do the same thing auto sum again here you'll notice that the suggestion is not correct I want to summarize over that over there uh, but I can also copy that and then paste it in all of these others here or I'm gonna undo that one I can actually use this fill handle here which is in the bottom right of every Excel cell and that means that I can pull down every um, and copy this value to all the others and what is being copied then is actually the reference that summarize the six cells two steps to the left so that's why this fill works and why that copy works because it's a relative reference just to check that the math is actually being done right one way of doing that is actually zeroing out all the values here as you see it actually does uh, end up with zero there so that's good I'm gonna undo that and again I'm gonna do the same thing with sum now now I'm gonna show you yet another way of doing the sum now I'm gonna do all of them at the same time by simply selecting the whole range that I want to summarize and the space where I want the summary is placed so I'm gonna uh, auto sum all that and as you see now I get sums for all these values so I get the sum for April May, June, etc. Same thing goes for average. I can type that in equals average. And uh, when I select uh, a suggestion here, then I uh, press the keyboard here on the down arrow and then I press the tab to actually auto complete that formula. And then again, I'll type in or select the range that I want to use the B5 to G5, right? B5 to G5 and now I can um, decrease the number of decimals I don't want to see quite that many decimals and now again I can fill that down because it's a relative reference same thing with average here there's actually a button for average too but it's hidden here beneath the uh, auto sum I'm going to do average there select the range I want to average I want the average to be calculated on and decrease the number of decimals and fill that out to the right too. Same thing with the max equals max. Let's do a further way of doing that is using the function guide here max and there's actually a max fun function there and then I can select the range that I want to calculate the max value based on. I'm going to fill that down. I forgot one here. Let's do that one too. And the same thing with min. And that one I'm going to type in. Min. And max. If this case is getting um, repetitive. Um, so that you understand if this is getting boring now that's a good sign because that means that you understand exactly what's going on and I'm gonna finalize with the min too there we go oh 
All right. Actually, we can do one other cool thing with this, and that is to put a graph in here also. That's always a nice one. On the Insert tab here, I'm going to do a line chart. And you see I have a trend here with all the data. So I'm just going to add a, a spark line here and select the data range, just as I did with the formula. And there you see that it's rather predictable that during the peak of summer in Sweden, there are more guests. Let's see if it's the same on all the different ports. And yes, it's rather similar for most of them. There is one dip here in Edmansund. That's uh, rather strange, but um, that's a, a nice way of doing a sparkline. That concludes this demonstration. Thank you for watching.